Hey, it's Chris Turner. I just put my equipment away in my car. I'm coming back for another cup of coffee. It's, uh, it's almost 5 a.m. And um, I'm on my way to uh, the lower mainland to a place called Agassiz to a rock quarry. It's uh, Armstrong Sand and Gravel. And uh, they're out in Agassiz. They've requested my service to help find a piece of machinery that broke off. Um, on my way there, hopefully we can find it. They're going to take me to three spots where they believe it could be. And um, this area was devastated just a week ago with floods. Uh, so bad it shut down our highway between Chilliwack and Hope. It also shut down the Coquihalla and nobody knows when it's going to reopen. Uh, really, really bad floods. Destroyed homes. Uh, very, very sad. And uh, I guess this is a very important thing, the quarries. I'll learn more about what their their service provides. So thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. It's not your typical search. And this is for something I don't normally do, but I'm excited to do it. Take care. For a lost tooth from a back hole, uh, about a foot and a half long, and uh, they want to find it before it goes through their uh, grinder. I can't blame them. Thanks for watching. I got up at four in the morning to get here in Agassiz. It was about a two hour drive. Uh, the roads are open now after the floods and uh, hopefully we can find this for them. Thanks for watching. And this material's heading up to the highways where it's all washed out, to the railroads where it's all washed out. So these big boulders here, three or four foot riprap. Yeah. Massive demand. This pile used to be huge, like way high. Now we barely have anything left. Wow. Um, wow. And this is all to rebuild the highways and the railroad. Yeah, we're just trying to get the supply chains open here, the wow. highways and the railroads. How long do you think that's gonna take realistically? Any idea? No I, idea. I heard it could be over a year. Depends depends on the political will. Yes, the political will, absolutely. Wow, what an amazing business. Uh, since 1969 in your family. That's correct, yeah. I was nine years old. Holy cow. Well, thank you for doing what you do. I mean, uh, like, you know, a lot of people wouldn't know how essential this is, especially during times like this. job oh, look, look uh you lost a shank out of your your back hole there right yeah you can see what i'm missing there um and you feel it should be somewhere in this area yeah right where he's digging there so basically face the rock over to this cut line okay. here okay anywhere in that area and you notice this was gone the day that day yeah so this went missing yesterday okay and so we've had to slow operation completely down that that, that shank runs through the plant we're gonna have some catastrophic damage, so okay. we're, we're slowing right now. All right, let's find it for you. Maybe your dad will find it before me. <laughs> wow, that's... How essential is your, your business, your company? Yeah, so the pits and quarries, the agri industry, is one of the lesser known essential services. So we all know about the hydro crews, the power crews, but one of the first calls made after natural disasters like we just saw are to the local pits and quarries. Yeah. Right? We all need essential, we all need aggregate and rock to rearm and protect existing infrastructure, and that's what we're doing here today. Fantastic. Remember, we find gold, we free of a split. And you run for the hills. <laughs>
Just enough to show a bit of metal. Hopefully it's what you're looking for. Right here. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> it was bigger than I thought. Oh, that's yeah, of course. I see it now. That's the front end there. That's wow. a big chunk of metal. Wow. How's that feel? Oh, that feels good. That feels really good. <laughs> awesome, man. That so happy awesome. to help. You're the man. You are the man. Happy to help. That's awesome. Before the explosions go off. Yeah. Oh, How much heavy. does it weigh? About 100 pounds? Oh, that'd be 200. No way. <laughs> Luke is stronger than you think. My God, Luke. There it is, you guys. Out of the hole. Luke dug it out. That thing weighs about 100 pounds. Destructive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't that, want that going through your plant. Yeah. It was just catastrophic damage. And is that what it would have gone through right over there? Yeah, it would have gone through this crushing plant right here. Well, it probably wouldn't even gone through the crushing plant. It would have had a big smash up. Probably wow. destroy everything over there. God, I'm so happy to find it for you, Luke. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. And hey, Luke, you said I found one of your friend's rings. A few years back. Yeah, that's how I got your name. You were, uh, I guess, they lost their wedding ring out on Blackie Spit there. And every time we go for walks out there, they like, oh, this is where we lost our ring. And that Chris guy came. Oh, that's awesome. Board. That's awesome. Mike. Thanks for watching my video, you guys. I know this isn't your typical find a ring video, but uh, it was important to find this tooth because if it would have gone through their their plant, it would have destroyed one of their, their rock crushers. And... Uh, that would have been that would have been not a good timing right now, especially uh, with this crisis going on out here. So thank you for watching. Take care. I don't know. I'll research it, but hundreds of RVs caught fire here at Fraser Way RV Center and these people lost a ton of inventory hopefully nobody was hurt this is crazy but you can see how high this water level got. It blocked this whole road. I'm sure they had to bulldoze this open here. Crazy, eh? Wow. We had massive floods out here. 